journalists marching through the streets of Ilori, the Kwara state capital. They are protesting what they call the incessant harassment and detention of journalists across the country. From the streets, they move to the government house to present a letter expressing their displeasure to the state government for onward transmission to the president. Your Excellency, Honorable Commissioner, if we must sustain our democracy, then the safety of journalists is not negotiable. Yes. If our democracy must thrive, if Nigerians must reap from the dividend of democracy, then journalists must be allowed to carry out their constitutional responsibility. Yes. A similar protest holds in Ogun State, where members of the press accuse the government and security operatives of arresting and badgering journalists while performing their lawful duties. We are discharging our constitutional authority to report and write what is right in the interest of our dear country. So we want to appeal to the authority that they should stop all this arrest. Not even the rain can stop their colleagues in Borji State from protesting. They later move to the hall, where they also lend their voices to the alleged attacks against journalists and media houses. We shall, by the special grace of God, strive to combat relentlessly the present unacceptable level of impunity plugging the country and deterring aspiring young Nigerians, just like our brothers and sisters from Atab, from embracing the profession and those already in the profession from living out of frustration. This rare move by journalists across the country is in line with the Nigerian Union of Journalists' declaration of August the 30th as a national day of protest. And by this action, they are saying enough is enough.